love you. Uh, we love you. Welcome to the. Uh, I, I want to say welcome back to the show because you actually made your late night debut yeah. on our show with driver's license. Driver's license. Yep. But yeah. we never chatted. I know. I'm so happy to be here. I, I'm such a fan of this show. I, I, growing up, I used to watch it every night with my parents. Um, I'm s such a huge fan, so it's an honor to be here. Oh you actually, I met you. Um, Maybe three years. You wouldn't have remembered. It was, one, it was so long ago. What do you mean I wouldn't remember? I, you were, it was in a group of people, but there was a group of people, and they were like, hey, hey, hey. And you actually went up to my mom, and you gave her a hug. And it is her bragging rights for the rest of her life. She loves you so much. Oh, my god. So she sends her regards, and she says thank you for the hug. Hi, Mom. Hi. And yeah, I love you. <laughs> uh, I follow you on the socials, okay. uh, and I, I, you're a great follow, by the way, if you like uh, uh, the social media. But I notice that you don't follow anyone back. I'm yeah. sorry. If I, if I was following one person, it'd be you, though, I hope. Thank you. Know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really, though, you... you what, uh, what, any reason why... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I, I try to follow zero people because it helps me be off of my phone, um, you, you know, off of social media, but I had this very embarrassing encounter once um, where I was stalking my ex, as one does, sue me, sorry. <laughs> and Tell me about um, that. And uh, I accidentally followed him because I was stalking him. And I was just following one person, so it was super obvious that I was following him. And my friend ran into my room and was like, oh my god, did you mean to follow him? Like, unfollow him. And I went and I grabbed my phone. I'm like, oh shoot, oh my god. And I went to open the Instagram app, and the second that I opened the app, my phone died. Oh my so gosh. Had a charger, so I was just following my ex for a while. Did it, quite out? did it come out that you were? Yeah, and people were like, oh my gosh, she's hacked. And I'm like, yeah, you guys, be safe. Like, <laughs> Get your, get your two-factor authentication, you guys. You weren't hacked like, at all. You, you did it yourself. Yeah, sorry. Oh, my gosh. All right, so now but you don't make that problem. You don't make that no, mistake No, no, I anymore. have a Finsta now, so I'm safe. You have a Finsta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a Finsta, Jimmy? I need a Finsta. Yeah, you need a Finsta. A fake Instagram. A fake Instagram, yeah. yeah so you so can just the, lurk and, and be curious. Yeah, and know? like things and look yeah. at things. And Wait, I'm totally getting a Finsta this week. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to you. I have so many things to talk to you about. First of all, congratulations on Guts. Yeah. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Went right to number one when, it, when the release, and then you got nominated just now for six Grammys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have three Grammys on your shelf already from uh, Sour, but how does it feel to be nominated for six? I mean, you're part of this. This is your year now. It's so surreal. It I actually is. can't believe it. I feel like the luckiest girl alive. I um, I used to go to the Grammy Museum all the time when I was younger, and actually, my mom and I used to like make ballots for the Grammys, like when the Grammys were on TV when I was like 12. I'd be like, I think this album is gonna win, and like we'd no do way. place bets and stuff. So no it's, it's a super big deal, and yeah, it's just it's such an honor to be included in a group with all these artists that I just am so inspired by. You more than hold your own, bud. Um, Thank you. And now here we go with this Hunger Games soundtrack. Uh, the new song is called uh, Can't Catch Me Now. <laughs> What's it like writing a song for a movie? Or like, because you're not, it's, this, right. is, this you write your songs for you. Yeah, that's like my diary, but this, this was a totally different experience for me as a songwriter. It was so much fun. I, I, I'm such a big fan of all things Hunger Games, and I yeah. love the soundtracks. Um, and so when they asked if I wanted to write it, I was so stoked. And I went in and watched the movie and was really inspired by the main character, Lucy Gray. Um, so it was super fun to get to write a song through her eyes. It was um, definitely a big stretch for me as a songwriter. It was really fun. Well, February is going to be a giant month for you because this uh, you have the Grammys. Uh, you turned 21, by the yeah. way. Uh, happy birthday. Happy early birthday. <laughs> and Very excited about that. you're kicking off your Guts World Tour. This is what everyone's talking about and trying to get tickets for. I mean, this is wild. You're going to play all these giant arenas. Yeah. Do you get nervous when you do these giant gigs? Oh, man, so nervous. You I get do. super nervous, yeah. Especially... I saw you at Jingle Ball last oh, yeah. week, and I was like, and you were so kind of calm yeah. to be performing for, you know, 20,000, 30,000 people. Yeah, you know, it's, it, it, it's different. I feel like playing your own show is a lot more fun because there's just so many people in the audience, and sometimes they know the lyrics, too, so if you, like, forget a lyric, you're like, throw it to the crowd! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there a song you're excited to play live? Ooh, um, I'm really excited. I, I, um, I wrote this song called All American Bitch that I really yeah. like. And I love that one. So, yeah, so it's super fun and, and rowdy, and I, I just hope people can, like, scream and dance and go crazy. Yeah! Get, guys, get prepared to sing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, we found uh, something online that I wanted to ask you about. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing that said that you once wrote an original Christmas song. When you were yeah, five. Yeah. Do you remember doing this? Start him young. I don't even remember. No, <laughs> I don't. But yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. It was called like the bells or something oh, like that. Yeah. The album cover is online. And oh. I was like, 
Look at, the, Look this at is, that. Yeah. B E L S. Close. Very close. Yeah, you know, I couldn't write, but it didn't, didn't stop me from writing a song. Yeah, no, no. I like the bells with <laughs> one L. Why yeah. not? What was it about? Do you remember the song at all? What was it about? Oh, I think it's like, um, I think it's about like waiting for Santa, like like waiting for to hear like bells or something. So, and five years old. Yeah. So I wish we had it, but uh, actually we do. Oh. Uh, we found a copy <laughs> of it, and thanks, Mom. Here's the original song, The Bells. Oh, man. A snippet from five-year-old Olivia Rodrigo. Man, man. A jam. Oh, yeah. You wrote a jam at five years old. Thanks. Uh, wow. Olivia, you kind of like manifested this career, which uh, I, 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 I suppose so. I mean, I was writing songs like at such an early age. Yeah, yeah I've, I've you, always been into it. And you had a pop, a pop star themed birthday party when yes, you were six. I did. I did. And your mom was also gave us oh, a photo wow. of this. Oh wow! Walked on memory lane. She's today. the I'm glad I hugged her that day. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> she's totally writing this whole interview for me. Uh, this is you and your sixth birthday, a pop star themed party, oh, man. and you even had like a, a play, like a set list. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I really manifested this hard. Yeah. There yeah. was not an audience. No one was watching, but I just had all of my like kindergarten friends, and we were just singing like the Jonas Brothers. We were really into Isn't it. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. And now this weekend you're going to be musical guests on Saturday Night Live. Oh. I mean, look at you, bud. <laughs> I think the last time you actually did perform Saturday Night Live, right? Yeah, I did. Um, it was actually my second time performing ever. Like, <laughs> my own songs in front of it. Besides that, I mean, that, that Do doesn't count. But, yeah, no, yeah, the um, bells, of course. The bells, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited. The first time I ever did, did it. Do you like yeah. the pressure? I mean, do you like to go like, yeah, Go ahead, I'll do the Super Bowl. Give it to me. Let's go. It's like, why not? I just go for it. I get really nervous. I mean, it's a, it's, it's just it's live, live. I mean, you know. Do you have yeah. any tips for me? You're you're a no. Just enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I I, I love doing live. I love a live audience. Nothing like it. I mean, it's yeah. the best one. I mean, it, they're they tell you, they feed off the energy. Yeah. You're gonna crush it. Uh, I can't wait to watch it. Olivia Rodrigo. Everybody, can't catch me now. Is out now. Olivia and I are doing something fun after the break. Stick around. Come on back. More with Olivia Rodrigo.